family. You clearly uh, have gone through a, a, a very traumatic situation and you find yourself playing the what if game, right? Yes. What if she had been more efficient? What if? What if I would have? What if I didn't turn around on three? What would have happened? Right, because when you turned around, she quickly was putting something in the diaper bag, yes. right? What if? What if? What if? What if? Uh, and and what if can can drive you crazy? Mm -hmm. um, are you are you seeing her react to this on a regular basis? Is she thinking about it a lot? Oh, she does. She, as you can see, she doesn't forget anything. She's very much. It's in her mind constantly. She doesn't trust people. I've studied very carefully all the things that you've told us and all the things that your mother has shared with us. And very understandably, there's a real possibility here that you may be suffering from some post-traumatic stress disorder here. And that is a syndrome that is both psychological and neurological. Because when you go through something like this, you can get in a neurological loop where y your brain kind of replays and replays and replays this, and you kind of relive it. Mm -hmm. It can be as really poignant as it was the time that it happened, the actual day, moment that it happened. Emotionally, you can replay it in your brain. You can have nightmares. You can have disrupted sleep. Um, it can be very disruptive to your life. Now, the good news is this is a very treatable situation on a short-term basis. It, it can be helped in a, in a, in a short-term basis, and you, can get a, and you can get a grip on this. But I do think that we, we certainly need to evaluate you for that and see if, in fact, that is what's going on. Number two, I do want to tell you that most people that have the obsession that she had with you and did this you will no longer be a relevant target by the time that she gets out. Yeah. She was obsessed with this infant, and she was mimicking this pregnancy. She was obsessed with having that baby. By the time she is released, your child will be growing up. This will be something that is no longer within her obsession, even if she doesn't get treatment while she is away. I want you to take those things into consideration. Okay. Ready to get real? Subscribe to the Dr. Phil Show YouTube channel for exclusive videos you won't see anywhere else.